imagining tomorrow's sustainable, self-sufficient city. That's the goal of Fab City, a global project which started in Barcelona and is currently being tested in Amsterdam. Located at the head of Java Island in the city's Eastern Harbour District, it includes 50 innovative pavilions where more than 400 students, professionals, artists and creatives are working on finding solutions to urban problems. Porter Palace is a tiny home on wheels recently completed by a Dutch art and design collective. Fixed on a trailer, this 18 square meter mobile home is built with eco-friendly materials. It is timber framed and covered with a steel roof and contains a small living area with a kitchen, a toilet, a shower and a double bed located over the coffee table. The Porter Palace will set you back approximately 35,000 euros. People are really surprised that there's so much space in such a small house and also with a lot of because we use a lot of glass, it's so open, it looks open, and it interacts really with the environment. Wiggle House is a module concept house mostly built out of cardboard. Different modules are created which can then be assembled according to the homeowner's wishes and needs. Each module is made by gluing 24 layers of top quality cardboard around a rotating house-shaped mold using eco-friendly glue. The structure is then covered with wood frames to protect it from physical impact and UV rays from the sun. Its developers say the result is a robust sandwich structure with optimal insulation qualities. This is already like a little house I could live in, but now I want a, I want a kitchen and I want a toilet. So then we, we made this element where this is just all in it. So I, I take one away, I put my kitchen in it, I put one behind it, I put another one behind it, and then now I have a bedroom behind it. So this is already like a, a house which is built uh, within a week. The price per module is about 3,500 euros. If you add concrete foundations, additional construction elements, a prefabricated kitchen, toilet and bathroom, the end price of a home comes to around 70,000 euros. And what about equipping your sustainable home with equally sustainable 3D printed elements? That's what Dutch company MX3D proposes. It has developed a six-axis industrial robot arm with an advanced welding machine controlled by software. The printer proposes a wide variety of objects made of metal or resin without the need for support structures. The company's founder says his 3D technology has a significant advantage over ordinary 3D printers and wants to prove it by printing a pedestrian bridge made of steel in the center of Amsterdam. Normal 3D printers have to operate in a building volume like this and we can go meters big. So building a bridge is really a leap from uh, where we are right now with uh, the current technique. But this is our uh, true innovation. Other objects proposed by this printing robot include this innovative bicycle frame. Amsterdam's Fab City campus is open to the public until the 26th of June.